Hi guys, this is Tracy and Jamie and Hi. we're here today to do a demo with our brand new stamps. So we've got a couple of lovely, lovely mushrooms and we've got lots of little accessories to go with it. So you can either use your mushroom by itself or have all these tiny little add-ons which we're going to be doing today which I think are really good fun. Aren't they? Yeah, no, they're super cute, these yeah. little ones. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, little so we're going to use our um, watercolour pencils today. Because it's a three-dimensional image, I wouldn't necessarily go in with lots of colour for the background unless you were masking off. So I'm going to just be really delicate on how we colour that in because it's already got so much fine detail. Mm -hmm. We want to try and keep hold of that. Yeah. So um, sure it all. Yeah. What kind of card have we got today, Jay? This is watercolour card yep. and it's cut down to shape using our new Tim Holtz guillotine. Yeah. Which is available on our website. There we go. <laughs> new. It's exciting. <laughs> it is. It's, quite, it's really sharp it actually. Is, it absolutely glides through paper. So I am now inking up in the uh, Nocturne. This is the VersaFine Claire. And then we're going to pop that down in the centre there. And let's just give that a good press. Just let the ink soak in. Let it rest a while. Let the ink soak in. Give it a little bit more time than what you would with the multifarious. I'm thinking that will be good. There Does it go. soak more because it's in on watercolour card or mushroom. yeah it can do but it's an oil base so it shouldn't really move you know no okay every little bit detail and we're good away we go just in the middle yeah, yeah. okay plenty your pressure you're, you're taller than me, so it's probably quite a lot easier for you to put a bit more body weight over probably. it. But yeah, try and be still yeah. as much as you can. You don't want the image to move. No. Yeah? Right. Give I that reckon that will be gorgeous. I'll oh, move like that off the edge then. Okay, never mind. But it's okay. Don't worry. It's alright. It's Just fine. a bit shaded. It's fine. It's fine. Excellent. Because it's a massive, massive stamp this is. I mean it covers that yes. whole block so um but you know you, you need to have that size in order for us to have all this beautiful detail. Mm. So if we shrink it down you'd lose that. Um, yeah. That's sometimes why we have the images so big like as in the uh, mermaids as well. Yeah, oh yeah there's so much detail on those. So okay. Much. Got a few pencils here. I'll just put them all there. These. <laughs> what are these? These are our watercolour pencils. There we go. Can you say that? <laughs> or in zeal. <laughs> so these are 24 watercolour pencils and they are fabulous. Um, I've used them quite a lot. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. So just just be quite light about how you're colouring in. Don't don't sort of scribble hard. No. Because when you add the water, you won't get that scribble out if it's too hard. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's just be color. just be quite light about it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And all we're going to do is just go around. Around the mushroom. Okay. We'll go for a bit of the blue around it. Of course you can use whatever colours that you like. You don't have to stick to the colours we're using. No. Um, it was great to see um, Noof being coloured in. Um, oh yeah, with so, so many, many different, different, different colours. Co yeah. yeah, a blue Noof, a red Noof, an orange Noof, you know, purple Noof. Um, it was great to see was... people's ideas, wasn't it? Yeah. And different dyes that we could put on these. <laughs> yeah. 
No, it's really good. It is. It's great. I wonder if it kind of correlates to what colour the people's cats are as well. Probably. Um, and I think that is the beauty of, of it, um, that you can actually, you know, if, if you've got a sort of tabby cat or a black and white or a ginger, yeah. you can use the, the right colours to suit, to change. you know, yeah. your cat or your friend's cat. Yeah, 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 if you want to give it as a... As a present to yeah. somebody. Because it would make a good um, picture to hang on the wall as well, wouldn't it? Because it's, it's sizeable again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, once again, all the detail. Yeah. How are we getting on? Good. I was never amazing at colouring, I can't lie, in school. Okay, so, so here's a tip now. You know, when you've got your pencil, instead of um, sort of scribbling, mm -hmm. yeah? Sort of just, but try and do some like swirls, and that way, that way you've not got that kind yeah. of line, because that's that's what makes it difficult then a little a little bit more to blend. Yeah. Okay. Um, but keep keep working with it. I'm sure it will be fine. Try and salvage it a bit. Of it. Yeah, so I kind of just do like lots of little circles, kind of thing. Do tiny ones. The do's and don'ts whilst you using them. Yeah. Well, it's or just helpful. Advice, isn't it? it is, yeah. It's not necessarily do's and don'ts, it's sort of help and advice, really. Because um, there's no wrong way of doing anything when it comes to art. It's, you know, it's all enjoyable. But. Um, if somebody's got tips and techniques, then it, it, it helps, doesn't it? It does. It I is. think you're doing all right. Seems to be going a bit better now. You weren't very good at art, were you, in school? Not really. I did try to help you, but then I ended up just taking just you over, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> That's how it happens here, really. Do you remember the Coca-Cola can? That you had to oh, do. Oh yeah. I so enjoyed doing that. And the shoe. And you got an A in that, didn't you as well? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I hope none of your teachers are watching. <laughs> I hope they are. <laughs> it's quite funny. Surely they must have known that it wasn't me. Maybe. I'm sure if um, there's mums and dads out there that are really good at maths, they kind of oh, like yeah, yeah. helped their kids yeah. as well. I wouldn't do it. I would. Okay, Try from. Keep it more. Yeah, so you see how um, I've put it darker against the mushroom. Mm. What you don't want is to be kind of putting dark colours out here. Oh, okay. Because it's going to be a little bit more difficult to blend. Right. Yeah? Okay. I mean, in saying that, once you've added your water and mm. you've dried it, you can go back in and, you know, bring in more and more depth. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah. you know, okay. you can keep adding to it. For sure. Okay. Just give a bit of shade down there then instead. So I'm going in with the red now. It is therapeutic though, isn't it? I'm getting caught concentrating again and just not saying anything. Not saying anything, <laughs> no. <laughs> not speaking. You could just sit and do this for so long though, couldn't you? Yeah. It's good for the mind. Mm. It stills your mind. Yeah, takes it off everything else. Mm. Yeah. And away with the fairies. Away with the fairies. That's what we are, isn't it? Yeah. That's what my teachers always said at school. <laughs> She's just away with the fairies. <laughs> I wonder if that almost like triggered something. Planted a seed. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, fairies. <laughs> Could do something with those. <laughs> You're speeding up now. I know, I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> trying to avoid all the little circle bits as well. Though. Right. Have you done the stem as well? I've done a bit of the stem. I've kept the, that little bit light in the middle there because we've got to think about the light, how it hits the mushroom. So I'm going to keep that, that bit light in the middle and an area light 
in the middle there. Okay. So it looks like the light's coming in from the front. You know, or you could do it from the side where you'd have the shadowing more on this side yeah. and this side and then that side nice and light. Mm. So there's different ways you can you can do it. Yeah. Okay. Just to give it that three D look. It wow. does. It, I mean, gosh, it makes all the difference. Um, a bit of shading, for sure. Are we going orange? Are you? Yeah, I was going to go yellow, but okay. it's what every red and red mushroom like this looks like, isn't it? So it spots. Okay. Well, it is fairyland. You can do yeah, whatever you like. There are no it's gonna rules. Go, yeah, it's going to go purple. <laughs> <laughs> You've been interested. <laughs> and if you're not sure about colours, I think Fliss did something, didn't she, the other week um, with a colour wheel? Yeah. Um, to, to teach. That was interesting. Actually. It was interesting, uh, teaching you about what colours go with what. So if you're unsure of that, tune in to Fliss. Um, I think it was about two weeks ago now, was it, that she did that? Yeah, hmm. two, three weeks. Yeah. I think it was. I'm nearly ready, just need to do a few of these. Okay, that's fine. Now I don't know now, thinking about it, maybe we should add our accessories. I'm going to, I am going to, because what I'm thinking is if I add water to that now and the card slightly warps, then it's going to be di difficult more to difficult stamp to stamp onto it. Yeah. So while it's nice and flat, I am going to stamp with our accessories, which uh, is just so much fun. This is it's like building a picture. <sighs> it's so much fun, though. It is just adding all these, all the bits to it. Yeah. The bits that you want. Oh, don't look oh yeah. <laughs> I don't normally do the word cute. I'm not keen on the word cute, but oh, yeah. it actually oh, yeah, is. Super cute it is quite cute. It is. You've got to say it. Yeah. I quite like that orange fern actually. What do you think of that? No, yeah. Quite nice. That's one nice idea. Is that only two colours that you used there? Yeah, I've used um, Summertime and then I've used Meadow, so Meadow that side, Summertime there mm. and then I use the Twilight to hang the, the lamps. Yeah, I've got that now. I think it's nice because it's not quite black, no. you don't want to start taking your eye away from the mushroom now, so. Oh, your mushroom looks so cool. I'm putting the houses on top. You that don't have to. Idea. You don't have to. Oh no, look. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jay. Your masterpiece. I oh, kept it clean this long and now look. Look at mine. <laughs> oh. oh. So I'm going to put my next house down. Oh, you don't have to put them on your mushroom. You can, you can put them down here. That would look quite mm, nice as well, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, I saw some awesome. and posted some really nice makes from the DC as well, actually, using these new stamps. Oh, I know, they've done some amazing stuff, haven't they, with these stamps? Stunning. Did we say when we were launching these? No, we didn't, did we? We're so, not. They're, um, so you can purchase them from our website. Um, but if you want to see how Amanda uses them, tune into Create and Craft. Yeah, it's exciting. It is exciting. It's always exciting. I really like these mushrooms, actually. Yeah. Even though I can't colour them in amazingly, <laughs> it's a really nice stamp. It's a great it's stamp. It's a really nice stamp. It's a great stamp. It took me um, quite a long time to do this one, didn't it? Well, um, I could see why. Yeah. Because of the detail. The detail yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if the camera's really showing it off enough, but when you see them in person, you won't be disappointed. No. Um, I think 
this collection probably took me um, weeks, didn't it? Actually, mm. um, took me. I think because we work so closely with our manufacturer as well, there's a lot of turn and fro in with the detail. Um, sometimes they can't quite get it, so we go back to the drawing board. I have to redraw certain areas, and it goes back to the manufacturer. They try it again. Yeah. Um, it can be a bit of to and fro it. Uh, quite a lot sometimes on on something this detailed. Um, but we get there in the end, and that's what's great about working so closely with our manufacturer in the UK. Right, I'm going to leave my spots white. I think. Oh, look, look at a house. Yeah, look at a little frill. I know. <laughs> oh, it's, it's balancing there, isn't Pretty it? Pretty well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. But I, I hope you stay like safe. In that one. No. Well, bit of lucky wind, for it you. could be off the end. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it's alright, though. You can buy that. You can get that house instead. Yeah, if you I'm like. definitely yeah, having that one. that one. I'm not having that one. <laughs> I am not buying it, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Total You're waste of money. So this this it'll be blown over in a jiffy. I'm telling you now. You just cause them mayhem. They were all living happily in the houses before you decided it was gonna fall apart. <laughs> They're having a great time. <laughs> right, anyway. Back to stamping. I'm going to now ink up my grass. I forgot about my grass, I've just seen it now. In warm breeze. I'm going to just put that there. These houses are so fun. I'm going to put another one there. It's knowing when to stop, isn't it? That's the thing. Hello. It's like, you get real sort of happy clappy with it all. I mean, you could have like loads of lanterns. You could. You could have like loads, couldn't you? Do you know what I was going to do? What? I was going to get this. Right. Mm. Watch this for creativity. <laughs> Since we said that, I've been thinking, right, what can I do here? So, what we're going to do, we'll get this. In right up to the thing. I'm, I'm feeling nervous now. Yeah. So you're not inking the actual lamp? Not the lamp, just the rope or the string. Right. And then <laughs> this is going to be great. I'm feeling really nervous now. This is on camera. <laughs> you're going to love it, guys. Okay, we've got a bit of a thicker rope because... You're going to hang a house. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'd like to live in that one either. Imagine it blowing around. <laughs> It'd be so much fun. <laughs> yeah, you would find it fun. It's <laughs> like a little playhouse for the fairies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, do you know what? Why not? Each to their own. <laughs> I'm just not moving there. You can have this or there. <laughs> no. In fact, I might just go there. That's a safe bet. <laughs> right. Okay, I've had my bit of fun. Okay, <laughs> I am now going to use the water yeah. and a brush. And now mm -hmm. I'm just going to start using and going over the top where. Wow, that's really nice. I like what colours you've got there as well. You see, normally your card always comes out better than mine, doesn't it? He was just heading for the win today, I think. Yes. About time, I run. Although, yours doesn't have a floating house. No. So who's really winning? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that though now, how it's blended. Let me just... Oh wow. It's so That's easy. Really nice. It's just, you know, it just gives it 
a total different feel once I've gone over. Yeah, a bit of magic going on. Here we go, now we're looking more 3D. Oh, we're on to a winner. Okay. We're on to a winner. Oh, some leaves. Leave the top, I think. Right, Posca. I'm going to just use a little bit of Posca just to whiten those little spots on the mushroom. And I'm going to use some yellow Posca just to... I knew you were going to do that. That was my on. idea. Mm -hmm. Stole it. And okay. one of those so in. we're just getting this. I'm just lightly going over the picture up. Yeah. Just yes. instantly turned into water, like a proper watercolour. Like, just so smooth, it gets rid of all the lines. It's looking proper now. I'm using a Sakura jelly roll. This is a metallic copper. Mm. Um, I'm just using that on the flowers, just to pull them out a little bit, give them a bit of a sparkle. And if you haven't got anything that we're using today, don't worry about it. You know, just use what you have. Um, we're just basically colouring in. So, and if you've just got watercolours, watercolour paints, um, and some brushes, then give that a go. Yeah, do the same technique. Just mm. it does give it such a nice effect with these watercolour pencils. I didn't think my picture was going too well to begin with, but now... Now it's oh, just... Oh, it's looking great. Yeah. I love it, isn't it? Add a little bit more water to that bit to stop it being such a line. Add more water, yeah? And just go over. Yeah, out. that's it, that's better. Okay. Yeah. Just softening that edge, aren't you, by adding more and more water and just letting it blend yeah. out. See, once again, I've shown why never to give up on a card. No, because um, it wasn't looking great, but I mean, I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Now. I think, yeah, I, turn around. I, I do think there's so many times we give up to too soon Amazing. you know work with your card yeah. no matter what what you think work with it you just gotta look at it and think what can i do to make it work yeah what can i do to change it's, it it's about kind of covering up your mistakes as well um there's lots of ways of doing that i mean look at the state of your <laughs> i know i'm such a but mess what we're going to do is we're going to put um uh, because mine is you know, I've got this huge fingerprint up there. We'll put a stencil over the top. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, and just soften it. Um, so what else was there? I might put a little bit of smoke out the top. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. I might have to copy you. And then... Yeah, look. So now, what we're going to do, because you've got lots of sort of fingerprints and everything, yeah? yeah? So you can do this side first and then go over to that side, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I would work out where all your splodges are, yeah, where the worst bits are, mm -hmm. and put the stencil over the top, yeah? Okay. Bit of olive, but take plenty off, yeah? Yeah. So there's your green. Thank you. Hold on to your stencil. Yeah. Yeah. Take it off. That's it. Ooh. Start really yeah. lightly. Okay. Okay. I'd take a little bit more off again, to be honest. That's it. 
and just swirl. Now I've got that fingerprint up there, so I am going to ring in. Should we move that cup out of the way? So everyone can see what we're doing. It's what we came for, isn't it? <laughs> You getting on okay? I reckon. Masterpiece inbound. Yeah, you don't want to go in too dark with your stencil because your focal point needs to be the mushroom. But you just see instantly now yeah. it's got rid of everything. Ours. Hasn't it? I'm just doing this. I think it's great. I like it. I think it looks really good. I think it's cool. Can I have another colour? Oh no, no, I can't now. Not I've now you've it. done it because it'll start looking blurred then. Yeah. Um, but what you could do if you want, if you want to bring in a little bit of depth maybe at the edges. Yeah. So if you darken the edge, your mm. eye goes in. So what you've done, not the whole thing like me. Yeah. But it, it, it's not wrong, you no. know, it's just a different way of working. Look how messy we are. We've got. I've got done everywhere. <laughs> Just complete chaos. <laughs> I'm very organised. Pardon? Untidy. <laughs> right, I am now going to go in with some stickles. What's that one, is it? It was just it coming out of the. It's not like a goat, like. I know. <laughs> Sounded like a little mace. Little maces. <laughs> Right, stickles, which one would you like? I think we've got uh, green. Have we got oh, lime? You've green? got the green. Yes. Thank you. I've finished mine. Yeah. Is it coming out? Just try not to be too heavy with it like I was last time. That's pretty. This makes so different, doesn't it? A bit of glitter to spray. Brings it to life. It's that bit of sparkle. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I was planning on doing that actually. I actually wanted to do a bit around there and a bit here. Okay. I'm not just making it. No. I believe you. <laughs> there we have our finished pieces. Come on. They're very different this but time. They are very different but it's quite nice that you've just you, you went off on one. Yeah, you, just, you, just, you just went for it. <laughs> and it's quite nice though. Um, you know yeah. quietly confident. Yeah, yeah we'll say that. That's good. <laughs> that's brilliant. So um, yeah there we go. There we go. Look at that. I like yours this time. Right. I do like mine but <laughs> thanks a lot guys for your patience and thanks for yes. joining us today thank you so much um, you take care and we'll see you very very soon yes bye for now <laughs> bye that's good I like it though I do like it I think we're a bit heavy with the pedal stone the stones.